Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Final Website, and in this video, we're going to be running through the final PHP website that you're going to build using the skills and knowledge that you've learned throughout the entire course. So let's jump right in. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 26 final, and you'll see two folders in here, one called instructor and one called student. The instructor folder is the final final site. This is the fully built site that I'm gonna be using as the example and that you can use for reference throughout the development of your version of the site. And the student folder is just an empty folder that has one folder within it with a set of images so you don't have to worry about exporting those because that's not really what this course is about. So in the instructor folder, if you open index.php in your browser, then you'll be able to see the final site. And this is what it looks like. Here it is, Franklin's Fine Dining, a site that I designed and coded myself. So it's a very simple site uh, and it's not the most out of this world design or anything like that, but it covers all the essentials that we've been learning throughout our PHP course. And believe it or not, this site is fully dynamic using PHP and it utilizes all the essentials that you're going to use for your future dynamic websites, such as global headers, footers, dynamic hours, uh, query strings to pull up uh, a template and then populate it with an array of uh, info. So we'll get into all that, but I'll show you what the site looks like. So here's the home page. We just ha have some static text. But what's special about this is we have a global header, which means we only have to code the header once and it displays across all of the pages, no matter how many pages you create. And the benefit of that is, say you have 30 pages on your website and you need to make a change to the header in the nav bar, say for example, then you don't want to have to change that 30 times. Whereas if you use a global PHP header, you change it once and it's global across the entire site saves a lot of time and it's something that you should be really excited about. And in the footer here, we have some basic information, but what's special about this is we're using a PHP plugin that somebody has already developed to see if, our, if we're open today or we're closed today. So you could see, for example, for me, it is 10 in the morning on a Tuesday. So our, our restaurant isn't open until 1 p.m. so it says we're closed. Today's hours are 1 to 9. So I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. We have our team page where we have our team members and we have three of them here and their information is being pulled in dynamically with PHP. We have a menu page where we have four simple items here and each of these items is a link which opens up a template called dish.php. So I've only coded one dish.php template, but it's populating based on the link we're clicking, the info for each of the respective items in the menu. So club sandwich pulls up dish.php and it's looking for club sandwich and it pulls the info for club sandwich, a suggested beverage, the suggested tip, the price and the title. And you can go back to the menu, click on a different one, and it pulls up that info. So something really neat about PHP using templates. And then we have the contact page. Something that a lot of people have been requesting is how to create a contact form that actually submits an email. So here we have your name, your email, and a message, and then a checkbox to subscribe to a newsletter and then send a message. And that's what that does. It sends an email to the recipient here that is defined in our PHP and they should receive an email in their inbox. So why don't we jump right in? Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. And before we move on, I have a quick favor to ask you. I've dedicated thousands of hours to creating great content for my students. And the reason I can reach so many people at this point is because of people like you. This course alone has taken me months to create, and I'm not asking you to pay anything for it. All I ask of you is one little thing. If you're checking out my course from YouTube, I would love if you could share this course with your friends, family, and work colleagues. And if you're checking this course out from Udemy, I would especially appreciate if you could give me a quick rating and review. 
Using the star rating and the review box, you can leave me an honest review, and you can always change it later should you have a different opinion by the end of the course. You're awesome. See you in the next video.